hello students in this class i will discuss hamilton's variational principle here what is variational principle what will be the statement and what is the equation for variational principle okay for that let us consider a stone of mass m is taken okay i consider a stone of mass m is taken and this stone will be thrown to a height this stone will be thrown to a height the stone will be thrown to a height then at a time with a, a speculated period of time or within a time then this stone will reach the ground in many ways so when a stone is thrown in the height then it will reach the ground in many ways so in order to explain this we will follow a graphical representation now draw a graph with time and height h now a, here a stone is here and i am throwing a stone and it will reaches the path this so with the time the starting time is t1 and it goes in this way and it reaches the time t2 at this position otherwise this stone may be go like this and it will reach here or this stone will be like this okay so when you throw when a stone was thrown it will cover a parabolic path and it reaches the position here or it will choose this path or it will choose this path any path maybe you just name it this path is a this path is b and this path is c etc now to find out the exact path i'm throwing a stone i don't know which path that stone will take to reach the ground with the with the period t1 and t2 so in order to find out the exact path this variational principle will be used this variational principle should be used for what purpose to find the exact path to find the exact path so what is the use of this variational principle when a stone thrown from a place to another place with an height it covers a parabolic path and within the time t1 to t2 it will reach the ground so there will be many chances to choose a path in order to find out the exact path this variational principle should be used okay right now to calculate that exact position or exact path is to take a point here p1 so at this point p1 we should find out the total energy then another point p2 another point p3 another point p4 another point p5 etc at the path b similarly we will find out the value of points p1 p2 p3 etc p4 at the path a similarly we may find out the values at the point c also 
For example, if I am taking a path B and a point P1, then we know the Lagrangian equation L is equal to T minus V. So to find out the total energy, I is equal to integral of T1 to T2 L into dt. So in order to find out if there are more number of paths P1, P2, P3, P4, P5 etc. Then within the, so we should integrate. So we want to find out the value, exact value. We should integrate within the time period. So T1 to T2 L dt. We know that L is equal to the Lagrangian T minus V. This I is called action integral where I is called where I is called the action integral. Okay. So L is equal to T minus V. If you want to find out whole values at the point uh, at the path B, we should find out the value of P1, value of P2, value of P3, value of P4, value of P5 energies. So in order to find all these things, we should integrate and we will get the overall value. Therefore, we should integrate within the limit T1 to T2 L dt. Therefore, I is equal to T1 to T2 L dt where I is called the action integral, where I is called the action integral. So, the exact path is one for which the action integral is maximum or minimum. This maximum or minimum that is called as extreme. That is called as extreme. Therefore, I is called the action integral. So, the exact path is one for which the action integral is maximum or minimum. This maximum or minimum is called as extreme. The, ex the maximum or minimum is called as extreme. Now, what is the definition for this variational principle? What is the definition for this variational principle? Now you see, what is the definition for variational principle? You see, it states that actual path followed by a conservative holonomic dynamical system over a fixed time interval say the time interval B T1 and T2 is that over which the line integral of the Lagrangian L is extreme. What I told already I am giving in the a symbolic representation I is equal to integral of T1 to T2 L dt. This is the definition. It states that the actual path followed by a conservative holonomic dynamical system over a fixed time interval say between T1 and T2 is that over which the line integral of the Lagrangian L is extreme. So, Mathematically, we may write this as I is equal to integral T1 to T2 L dt. It should be maximum. That is our minimum called as extreme. You see this diagram also. So, from a point P, 
from a point Q, it reaches from a time t1 to time t2. This is one path. It may go with another path 2. It may go another path 3. So, overall, which exact path to calculate? We need this mathematical formula i is equal to integral of t1 to t2 L d t. Where that L d t should be extreme. This i is called action integral. L is the Lagrangian of the system. We know that Lagrangian of the system L is equal to t minus v. From this equation, one it is clear that if the variation takes place in the line integral, if the variation is takes place in the line integral, maybe it is maximum or minimum, then the derivative will become zero. Then the derivative will become zero. Therefore, delta i equal to zero. Therefore, delta i equal to zero. Now, how can we write that equation 1 delta i that is equal to delta integral t1 to t2 L dt that should be is equal to 0. Delta i that is equal to integral of sorry delta integral of t1 to t2 L dt that is equal to 0. This is called variational principle. This is called variational principle that is when the variation takes place within the line integral with a stipulated time t1 and t2 then that value may be maximum or minimum called extreme and it becomes zero and it becomes zero. This is called Hamilton's variational principle. In the next class we will discuss how a Lagrangian equation can be derived using this variational principle. Okay. Thank you.